sometimes in your spreadsheets you want a cell to perform a different calculation or display different text uh, depending on what uh, data is stored in other cells or what conditions are in other cells. Uh, and the if function is designed to let you do just that. It's, it's a pretty simple function. You can see here it's based off, off three parts. You've got a logical test and then a value of that test is true and a value of that test is false. Um, you can use other functions or formulas within uh, any of these three sections. So let's take a, a look at how that works. And as an example here, I've just got a list of customers with their balance and their credit limit. And let's say we wanted to display um, the words over limit next to anyone who's over their credit limit. So here I've got an example of what that formula would look like. We would use if and then our argument is uh, if B2 is greater than C2, then we're going to display over limit, otherwise give it nothing. And so let's, we'll build that formula here using the function wizard. So our logical test is if B2, that's our balance, is greater than C2, that's the logical test. And if it's true, then we want to display the words over limit. Any text that you want to display has to be enclosed in quotation marks, um, otherwise it will try to interpret it as a cell reference or, or a range name or something like that. And then the value of false, since we want to display nothing when it's false, we're going to put two quotation marks there with nothing, no text in between them. We'll click OK and we'll copy that down and so now you can see that anyone who's over their limit has that message displayed next to them. Now you can get uh, more complicated than that. Maybe there's more than one condition that you need to evaluate. So you can um, you can use an if statement within an if statement. And that's what I'm showing you over here, um, a nested if function. So what we're doing here is we say if b2 is greater than c2, then display over limit. If not, then we go into another one. If C2 minus B2, that is, if the credit limit minus their balance is less than or equal to 100, then display near the limit. Otherwise, uh, display nothing. So let's copy that formula. And we'll put it in here. And we'll fill that down. And so you can see now we have some that are blank, some that are over limit, and some that are near limit. Now another thing you can do with the if function, um, let's say that we wanted to also know what percentage everyone's balance was of their, of their credit limit. So just a simple formula there, you take equals the balance divided by the limit and you would get that, we can format that as a percentage. And that works fine, except that we've got some down here that have a credit limit of zero or have no credit limit. And then you get this divide by zero error. So we can have, um, we can use the if function to check and see if, um, the col if column C is zero or not. If it's not, then we can have it display a zero or whatever we want in there. And then if, it, if it's not zero, then we can divide B2 by C2. So let's go through the the wizard again. We'll say if okay so if C2 equals 0 then our value if true I'm gonna have it display 0. You could have it put in whatever you want. And then if it's not zero, then we do B2 divided by C2. We fill that down. And now these that were giving us the error before are just showing zero. So that's all there is to using the if 
function. Um, you can you you can use um, you know if statements within if statements. You can you can put other formulas or other functions within it. So it's really very flexible and really simple to use. Usually I just type the formulas in, so there's not much to them. Um, but I use the function wizard here to make it easier to see what was going on. Anyway, um, I hope that uh, helps you make uh, make good use of the if function.